Welcome to the Auto Moto Freak Channel. Greetings to all viewers, subscribers, supporters. So to the point. The Toyota 2.2D 4D engine, primarily the 280F DEV and its more powerful variant. The 280F HV were the largest displacement diesel engines in Toyota's AD family. Introduced around 2005 to 2006, they were designed for larger Toyota passenger vehicles and SUVs, offering a blend of power, efficiency, and advanced emissions control for the European and other global markets. They were commonly found in models like the Toyota Avensis, Toyota RAV4, Toyota Corolla Verso, and Toyota Oris with the 2AD FDV. History and Versions Introduction the 2AD FDEV and 2AD FHV were launched in 2005 to 2006, building on the architecture of the 2.0L 1AD FDEV. They represented Toyota's answer to the demand for more powerful and refined diesel engines in the competitive European market, competing with engines from Volkswagen, BMW, and PSA. Engine family, part of the AD engine family, characterized by their aluminum cylinder block with cast iron liners, making them lighter than previous cast iron block diesels. Configuration. Both are inline four-cylinder, 16-valve DOHC, double overhead camshaft engines. Displacement. 2.2 liters, 2,231 cubic centimeters. Turbocharger. Both use a variable nozzle turbocharger, VNT or VGT with an electric actuator and an intercooler for optimized boost and performance. Fuel system, high-pressure common rail direct injection system, typically Denso. Emissions technology, a key focus. Designed to meet Euro 4, Euro 5, and later Euro 6 standards. 2AD FDV, generally equipped with a diesel particulate filter, DPF. 2AD FHV the more advanced and powerful version. It featured Toyota's DCAT system, which included a DPF and a NOx storage reduction, an SR catalyst. This system typically used a fifth injector in the exhaust system specifically for active regeneration of both the DPF and the NOx catalyst, aiming for very low emissions. Power and torque variations. 2AD FDV. Common outputs around 110 kilowatts, 148 horsepower, 150 PS at 3,600 RPM and 340 Nm, 251 lbfd of torque at 2,000 to 2,800 RPM. 2 AD FHV DCAT higher outputs, typically 130 kilowatts, 174 horsepower, 177 PS at 3,600 RPM and 400 Nm. 295 LBFD, of torque at 2,000 to 2,800 RPM. This was the most powerful four-cylinder diesel Toyota offered in many European models at the time. Review and Opinions The two AD engines, particularly the two AD FHV, were initially lauded for their strong performance, refinement, and impressive fuel economy. However, like their smaller 1 AD sibling, their reputation was significantly impacted by specific costly issues. Performance. The 2AD FHV, in particular, offered very strong performance for a 2.2L four-cylinder diesel, rivaling many larger engines. Refinement. Generally regarded as smooth and quiet, fitting well with the passenger car experience of models like the Avensis. Fuel economy. Excellent for their power output, making them economical to run on longer journeys. Emissions. The DCAT system was cutting edge for its time, achieving very low NOx and particulate emissions. Despite these positives, discussions often quickly turned to the inherent weaknesses that became apparent over time. Advantages. Strong power and torque, especially the 2AD FHV, offering competitive performance. Good fuel economy. Contributes to lower running costs. High refinement. Smooth and relatively quiet operation for a diesel. Timing chain. Utilizes a timing chain, generally considered a lifetime component, reducing scheduled maintenance costs. Advanced emissions DCAT for its time, the DCAT system was innovative in achieving low emissions. Lightweight construction. Aluminum block design reduces overall vehicle weight. 
Disadvantages Cylinder head gasket slash block corrosion. This is the most critical and widespread issue, mirroring the problem found in the one ADFDV. Electrolytic corrosion or pitting around the cylinder liners in the aluminum block under the head gasket often led to coolant leaks, overheating, and head gasket failure. This was a design flaw that could be very expensive to repair, sometimes requiring engine replacement or extensive machine shop work. High oil consumption. Many 2AD engines, particularly the FHV, were prone to consuming significant amounts of oil, even from new. This could be due to issues with piston rings, bore glazing, or turbocharger wear. DPF slash DCAT system issues. The complex emission systems could be problematic. DPFs were prone to clogging, especially with short trip driving. The DCAT system's fifth injector and the NOx catalyst could also develop issues, leading to warning lights and potentially costly repairs or replacements. EGR valve carbon buildup, a common issue for all modern diesels, affecting performance and efficiency. Injector issues, while not as notorious as the KD series, common rail injector failures could still occur due to wear or fuel quality. Turbocharger issues, some reports of turbocharger failures, potentially linked to oil consumption. Faults and breakdowns, key issues. Cylinder head gasket slash block corrosion, the big one. Cause, fundamental design flaw in the aluminum blocks, cooling passages, and material leading to pitting and erosion where the head gasket seals to the block. Often exacerbated by incorrect coolant or neglected coolant changes. Symptoms, persistent coolant loss without visible external leaks, frequent need to top up coolant, overheating, white smoke from the exhaust, mayonnaise in the oil, oil, slash coolant mixing, or low compression. Solution, extremely costly. Requires engine removal, stripping, often machining of both cylinder head and block faces, and potentially specialized repair, e.g. steel liners, if the corrosion is severe. Many engines were replaced under warranty when in production. Prevention. Using the correct Toyota Super Long Life Coolant, a LLC, or equivalent, and adhering to strict coolant change intervals is crucial but doesn't guarantee immunity. High oil consumption. Cause. Often due to issues with piston rings, sticking slash carbon buildup, cylinder bore glazing, or turbocharger seal wear. Symptoms. Frequent need to top up engine oil, blue smoke from the exhaust, especially on startup, deceleration, or hard acceleration. Solution depends on the cause. Can range from a simple turbo rebuild to more extensive engine work like piston ring replacement or rehoning cylinders. Toyota did issue a TSB technical service bulletin in some markets for piston slash ring replacement on certain engines with excessive oil consumption. DPF slash DCAT System malfunctions. Cause, short trip driving preventing proper regeneration. Sensor failures, e.g. differential pressure sensors. Issues with the fifth injector in FHV models. Or DPF slash catalyst degradation. Symptoms, DPF warning lights. Reduced engine power, limp mode. Increased fuel consumption, rough idle. Solution, forced regeneration. Professional DPF slash catalyst cleaning or costly replacement of components. Prevention, regular highway driving to facilitate regeneration, avoiding excessive short trips, and using correct low-ash engine oil. EGR valve and cooler blockage. Cause, soot and carbon buildup from exhaust gases. Symptoms, reduced power, rough idling, increased emissions, engine warning light. Solution, cleaning or replacement of the EGR valve and cooler. Injector issues. Cause, wear, contamination, or electrical issues. Symptoms, rough running, misfires, black or white smoke, poor fuel economy. Solution, diagnosis to identify faulty injector and replacement. Fuel consumption. The 2AD engines generally offer good fuel economy for their power output. Official combined cycle, e.g., events is 2.2 DCAT often in the range of 5.5 to 7.0 L slash 100 km. Real-world driving, varies significantly based on vehicle, driving style, and conditions. Owners commonly report. Highway driving, 
6.0 to 8.0 L slash 100 km, approximate 29.4 to 39.2 MPG US or 35.3 to 47.1 MPG Imperial. Combined slash urban driving, 7.5 to 9.5 L slash 100 km, approximate 24.8 to 31.4 MPG US or 29.7 to 37.7 MPG Imperial. DPF-equipped cars doing frequent short trips might see higher consumption due to interrupted regeneration cycles. Timing. Both the 2AD FDEV and 2AD FHV engines use a timing chain to drive their camshafts. Maintenance. Timing chains are designed to be maintenance-free for the life of the engine meaning no scheduled replacement interval like with a timing belt. This reduces long-term maintenance costs. Potential issues. While robust, timing chains can stretch over very high mileage or if oil changes are neglected, leading to rattling noises, especially on cold startup or timing issues. If symptoms appear, replacement of the chain kit chain tensioners guides is necessary, which is a labor-intensive job. Symptoms of wear a noticeable metallic rattling sound, particularly upon cold startup, which may persist or get louder as the engine runs. Oil. Oil type. As modern common rail diesels, especially with DPF slash DCAT systems, both 2AD FDEV and 2AD FHV strictly require low ash, low saps, sulfate ash, phosphorus, sulfur, synthetic diesel engine oil. Look for specifications such as ACS C2 or C3. ACS C2 is often explicitly recommended for fuel economy, FE oils. Using incorrect oil can severely damage the DPF and catalytic converter. Viscosity. The most commonly recommended viscosity is SAE 5W30. Some manuals might also allow 0W30 or 5W40, depending on climate. Always consult your vehicle's owner's manual for the precise recommendation. Oil capacity. The engine oil capacity is typically around 5.9 to 6.3 liters, including the filter. Confirm with your owner's manual. Change interval. Toyota generally recommends oil changes every 15,000 kilometers, approximate 9,000 miles or 12 months, whichever comes first. However, given the known issues with oil consumption, the importance of oil quality for the timing chain and DPF slash DCAT and the sensitive nature of these engines, shorter intervals, e.g. 10,000 kilometers or even 7,500 kilometers, especially for cars doing frequent short trips or those showing oil consumption, are highly recommended by specialists and owners for better longevity. Versions. The 2AD engine family itself had two main versions. 2AD, FDEV. The standard D, 4D, typically with lower power and often a simpler DPF system. 2AD FHV, the higher output DCAT version, featuring the more complex NOx reduction system, fifth injector. These engines were ultimately phased out of many Toyota models in Europe, often replaced by BMW source diesel engines like the 1.6L 1WW and 2.0L 2WW, or more recently, hybrid powertrains due to increasing emissions regulations and the high cost of developing new compliant diesel engines. In conclusion, the Toyota 2.2D 4D engines, 2AD FDEV and 2AD FHV, offered strong performance and refinement for their era. However, their major Achilles heel was the persistent issue of cylinder head gasket failure due to block corrosion compounded by potential oil consumption and DPF slash DCAT system complexity. While they are capable engines when healthy, potential buyers must be extremely cautious and perform thorough pre-purchase inspections to avoid significant repair costs. For current owners, diligent maintenance, especially regarding coolant and oil quality slash intervals, is paramount. Thank you for watching the video, and I invite you to subscribe to the Automoto Freak channel. Greetings to everyone and see you in the next episode. See you soon.